sorry she's unable to be here for this event. She here at City Hall. We want to do something to show our appreciation for the contribution of the deaf residents here in Rochester, New York. And we salute you. Thank you. Rochester has an active and vibrant deaf community for a long time. It's one of the things about this city that makes it unique. Death Awareness Week provides a wonderful opportunity for everyone in Rochester to get to know more about our deaf and hard of hearing neighbors and friends. And it gives the people in this city and in the deaf community a chance to celebrate and share their many talents. Thank you <laughs> to the Rochester Recreation Group Club, I'm sorry, for the deaf and for the many other groups have contributed to the Rochester's deaf culture and to the celebration of the International Deaf Awareness Week. Thank you. We will run this flag up the pole for the week and hope that it serves as an invitation for people who want to learn more about Rochester's deaf culture and community. We'll also be putting up a notice on our webpage with resources for the deaf to encourage them to check out the many opportunities available to them this week. I understand we have some people here from our deaf community would like to share a few thoughts before we raise this flag. Please do so. Hi, my name is Fred Mead. This is my sign. I'm a chairperson of the Rochester Deaf Awareness Week. I thank you so much for supporting uh, from, from the mayor's office this wonderful support. Because without your support, we would not be able to exist. We love a partnership together because together we can work do more things as a community of people. This flag symbolizes our unity in the community and we want to grasp that advancement and to hope that both the communities in the deaf and hearing communities make this a special thing. Rochester uh, Recreation Club of Death. I want to thank the mayor for allowing us to come here to see this flag raise. Plus, many thanks to Fred, our chairperson for the Special Death Awareness Week events. And we have many thanks to pass call to all of you, for all of you who have our Recreation Club members, who are not yet members. We certainly do welcome you to this community, and we look forward to uh, a great week. Don't forget to look at uh, our website to see the list of the events that are going on all week. Thank you, thank you so much, thank you so much. Great, great, great. So, hello, my name is Guillaume Chatel. I'm a member of the uh, deaf community here in Rochester. I want to speak briefly about the flag itself. Who came up with this idea and what is the meaning? Andre Hollard is a deaf blind person from France who has studied all over the world, 2,000 flags all over the world, and the purpose of color and symbols and design and history to think about ideas to develop a world symbol for deaf culture. There are three colors in the flag, turquoise, represents the community of the world, deaf community, as collaborative, as Fred mentioned, and Walter has mentioned, we are a collaborative community. Yellow is for hope, a vision of the future to inspire people. Dark blue. Humility, humanity, justice, and equality, and collaboration. That's the idea behind that color. And you will see the shapes 
of how those, like a hand, like a sign of a hand, so the deaf blind also have tactile communication and represent the inclusion of all those aspects of the deaf community. <laughs> Thank you all so much. This is wonderful. Let's raise the flag. <laughs>